welcome to postgrid combo in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a postgrid with our postgrid combo plugin we have support for both the shortcode and gutenberg blocks in this video i will create a gutenberg block based postgrid however if you are not familiar with wordpress block editor and is still using the old classic editor then check out my video description we have a separate video for this Okay, you may already know to use any WordPress block, we have to create a post or face. So let's create a face for our post grid. Let's call it my post grid face. And now click on the block inserter and here you can search for a specific block or you can find all our available blocks under this post grid combo section. For the sake of this tutorial, let's select the post grid block and immediately it asks to set a column number. Let's say we want a three columns grid and we got the three columns. Now let's say I have changed my mind and want a two columns grid instead of three. We can find all the grid related settings under this grid settings option panel. Here you can easily add or remove a column and at the same time you can preview the result. Here you can customize the space between columns. If you are in a hurry and don't want to mess around with these git settings, you can simply click on any of these built-in layouts and our grid will accept all the selected layout settings also you can see on the preview it's updating in real time okay now let's focus on layouts on our layouts library we have created some layouts that you can use you can preview and apply any of these layouts with a single click and guess what you have got the full flexibility to customize these layouts of course, you can customize the style for these pre-made elements like the feature image or post title. And you are also free to use any other Gutenberg block inside these post layouts. It's awesome, right? Okay, with this layout selected, let's publish the page. And here you can see the grid is using that layout. But if you want to customize this layout, like let's say we want to change the color of this post title. In order to customize the layout, first you have to import it. You can find imported layouts under these shape templates. Here is our newly imported layout. So let's edit. And now we are on the edit interface on that layout. And here you can see two pre-made blocks, the feature image and the post title. If you want, you can change the layout name. Let's call it my layout with the red post title. That's obvious. Now to change the post title color, let's select the post title block. And from the right side, expand this post title panel and change the color. Let's update the layout. And to get the customized layout, navigate these shape tabs. And here you can see the layout with the given name. So in order to use it, just select the layout and immediately you can see the changes. Also, you can add or remove any blocks on this layout. Currently, we are only showing the feature image and the post title. Now, let's say we want to show the post except as well. And we want to show it right after the post title. As you know, to add a block, we have to click on this block inserter. And here you can search for a specific block. Let's search for post except. And here we found two blocks with the same name. 
actually the first one is from wordpress but we are looking for this one with the blue background actually it's up to you whether you want to use the default one or the blog that comes with our post git combo plugin but i highly recommend using our available block as we have extended the functionality from the default one so that our blog can fulfill your needs you may find a similar name for some generic blocks like the post title or the post excerpt but you can easily distinguish between two by seeing the blue background as you can see all the blocks from the postgit combo come with a blue background anyway now let's add our post excerpt block and we got the post excerpt with a read more link you can add a style to this read more link under this read more option panel actually you can use a style to every elements in every possible way we have added a ton of options for now let's customize the read more link After customizing the layout, update it. And on the editor, since we are already using that layout, so we don't even need to reselect it. Just reload the page on the website and you will get the latest changes. But on the editor, we have to reselect the layout to get the latest changes. Here we go. Okay, under query post, we have added a ton of query options that will help you to query your posts in every possible way however some of the settings are only available on the pro version so you might want to check out our pro version as well i will put a link in this video description so that you can easily purchase the pro version also under pagination you can use a different type of pagination and again we have a ton of options added to every element Actually, we have a separate video dedicated to our pagination settings, so you might want to check that. Please check the link in this video description. That's all for this video. If you have any questions or need help, we suggest you create a support ticket. You can find the link under every blog. And if you are comfortable with our plugin, please rate us on WordPress. Your review is must for beneficial to us. Thank you so much for watching.